you on cemetery with spring channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Intellect promise you won't fall asleep tonight. Calls from the grave. After the summer break, my group and I always get together on August 30th to get a good night's sleep before the school year. We tell tales about summer vacations, tell who was where and what they did. So it was this year. And then our headmistress started crying her eyes out. What's wrong with you? We asked. And she told us. In June, her best friend died, she was hit by a car driven by a drunk driver. She was buried in a closed casket. Sasha, group leader, was at the funeral, crying a lot. When it was time to hammer nails into the lid, the mother of the deceased could not stand it, she ran to the coffin, pulled back the lid and put her daughter's cell phone with the words, call, my daughter, call. The mother was reassured, and the funeral was over. A few nights later, the phone rang in Sasha's apartment. Through sleep, barely opened her eyes, she saw the phone number on the screen dead friend and their cheerful photo, which Sasha put as a picture call exactly one day before the death of his girlfriend. Sleep vanished like a dream. About answering was out of the question. And it was three in the morning. After that night Sasha often cried, became nervous and irritable, did not sleep at night. But the phone was silent. After a week or two, everything began to seem delusional. And she began to think that she was probably just imagining things. And then again at night she was disturbed by the ringing of the cell phone. And that number again. Again came the fear. Sasha went to the mother of the deceased and told about what happened. She, strangely enough, was pleased, blushed in a smile and offered to leave the cell phone with her at least for one night. And so Sasha did. And the next day the woman was already taken away by ambulance, with a heart attack. The mother of her friend did not say anything. Only smiled strangely as she lay on the stretcher of the ambulance. Sasha looked at the log of received calls and was horrified, the call on that number was three minutes long. Sasha decided to urgently change the number and went to the cell phone company. She asked how long it would take to block and resell the numbers that were not in use. She was told that it would take at least a year, that was the company policy. Then the poor woman made a printout of the calls to her number, and indeed. Three times the phone received an incoming call from the very phone that had been buried.